In this video help, I'm going to be covering the payment tab for taking payments on an invoice. In this invoice, for an example, uh, we have the charges, the tax, the invoice sum, the sum paid, and the balance. So what this indicates is this balance of zero means that the payment was taken and the, for the total amount and the balance is zero. Now, be aware that the summary of this information may change as you add items. So for example, if I add an additional item, then all these figures up here will be recalculated by the database and a new balance will be shown. Uh, where does this come into play? Well, if you're doing a quote and you have indicated that this is a quote invoice, uh, what you would do is you would tag it in the uh, information for the line notes that the items that are part of the quote are quoted items and or for a layaway or some other type of an option where the payment may be coming at a different time. So if you had multiple items, one may be a quote, one may be a full payment, the other one may be a layaway or whatever. And you can mark the individual rows by putting the information and the additional data that might be in there might say, uh, the layaway is going to be paid for and picked up on a certain date and so forth. So you can have that information available to you. Uh, when you go ahead and do the payment, what we, you would do, and I'm going to show you one that is already done, you're really keying on this information that is in this area. In this case, the actual balance that was due was, uh, and also paid was 73 and 36. And basically what you would do is come down and add the date that is actually being paid. You would go to the amount due and put in the balance that would be due, which would be 7336 if this was not paid. So the amount due, then you would show the amount paid. If this is not going to be the sum of the payment, for example, if I put in, say, $40, you'll see that it'll change to show the actual balance. And on the next line, what you would do is indicate the date that that was paid, putting the 3336 in as the balance due and then showing the amount paid, and then it would go to zero in the amount balance due. So, and then of course the way it was paid, either by check, cash, money order, layaway store, uh, store credit or whatever. And then if it was cash, or you would have no number in here, but if it's a check or a credit card, it's a good idea to put the last four of the credit card the and the full check ID. And if it's a layaway, there will not be a number in there until it's actually paid. So to close out this particular invoice, what we need to do is go back and put in the 7336 uh, as far as the amount that is actually due. And you'll see that it'll zero back out again. It's calculated automatically for you. Now, if you wanted to edit the paid with, you would click this right here and you can add by adding a new record and then changing this. As you add a new thing in here, for example, you might have barter. And when you click off of it, it'll add barter to the line of items that are in this particular uh, screen. Now, when you go back to the uh, sales record and go ahead and click on the row, then go in and look at the new list of items that are in the payments from the drop down, you will see that barter is now included in that list of items. So that's how easy it is to edit. And these, the reason this is done, as I have pointed out, uh, you cannot edit the row in the actual field if it's on the iPad because that's a scroller, but you can edit it from the list and list view item at the top of the screen under the title of the actual row and the field. If you have any questions how this works, you can go ahead and contact me <clears throat> through the support site. Thank you.